This is a video run through of flashing images to micro SD cards from a Windows computer. We will be showing you where to download the images, how to extract the images, how to write the images to the micro SD card, and then finally verifying the written data. To get started, go to www.libre.computer. Clicking on products, select the product that you purchased, and then click downloads. Alternatively, you can grab the latest images directly from our distribution download site at distro.libre.computer. After you arrived at the site, click CI and then select the distribution you want. For this demo, we'll be using Ubuntu 22.04 desktop. Make sure to download the proper file for your board. The proper file should end with your board model number. For example, AML S905X CC for Levitata. Both the server and desktop images are in the same folder, so pick accordingly. For this video run through, we have downloaded the images to the disk already. Open up the directory of your downloads folder and check the file extensions. Click View and then Show Hidden File Extensions because otherwise you will see .img rather than .img.xz. You will need a decompression utility to decompress the image prior to flashing it. If you don't have one already, you can use 7-zip to decompress the image to your disk. The tool we're going to be using to flash micro SD cards is called Win32 Disk Imager. Win32 Disk Imager allows you to write raw images directly onto the raw sectors of the micro SD card, bypassing any file systems. First, we're going to go to the Downloads folder and then extract a raw image with 7-zip. Right-click on the file and then go to 7-zip and then click Extract here. While 7-zip is decompressing the file, we need to turn off Auto Mount in Windows. Auto Mount will open file system as soon as it detects it on disk. During the write process, since we are writing a file system onto the disk, Windows will attempt to open the file system. This will cause data errors when we finally try to go to verify the images that we've written to the microSD card. Click Start and search for Command Prompt. Once you see it, right-click the Command Prompt and then click Run as Administrator. This requires system-level permissions, so you may be prompted by UAC to verify authorization. Once Command Prompt has started, type in Disk Part. And after the Disk Part command has started, Type in auto mount space disable. You can leave the command prompt window open so that later you can re enable auto start after you've finished flashing your images. After we finish extracting the image, we can start Win32 Disk Imager. Win32 Disk Imager is a raw utility, so you require system level permissions, and you will be prompted by UEC to grant it. After clicking Yes, we can start by selecting the image file that we just extracted from the Downloads folder. Win32 Disk Imager will overwrite the data on the device, so make sure to back up any valuable data. After selecting and verifying the proper device, click Write. The write speed will depend on the quality of the micro SD card as well as the card reader itself. We highly recommend Samsung and SanDisk micro SD cards, especially the Samsung Pro and SanDisk Extreme product lines. These Tier 1 products by Tier 1 manufacturers offer the best quality flash and controllers, which translates to higher reliability, more temperature endurance, and higher performance. If you need higher reliable storage, we recommend EMMC modules or NVMe storage drives for the boards that support them. We are currently flashing to a SanDisk Extreme microSD card. As you can see, it is writing the sequential data at 60 megabytes per second. If your microSD card is dropping below 10 megabytes per second during Win32 disk imager write, we highly recommend switching to a different one. This will severely impact your performance on your single board computer. 
if you have problems writing to the micro SD card, it could be an indication that the micro SD card is failing. Please, after the write, run the verified step. The verification makes sure that the data written to the micro SD card is bit accurate by rereading the data off the micro SD card. If you encounter problems during this step, please replace your micro SD card with one that does not fail the verification step. If the verification step fails, it means that the micro SD card is not saving the data correctly. If you've disabled auto mount as previously suggested, then this could mean that the micro SD card is indeed failing and that this micro SD card did not boot on the board because the data on the micro SD card is corrupted. If the verification step completes successfully, it means that the data is properly written and if the board still doesn't boot, it could be a couple of reasons. After successful verification, the first and most common reason the board does not boot is that the wrong image was selected. Make sure that the image file name has your board model number in it. If you select a different model number, it will not work. Make sure you're flashing the decompressed image. If the file name ends in .img.xz, then it means that the file is still compressed. Flashing this image to a micro SD card will only result in the board not booting since the bootloader is not where it's expected. Now plug the micro SD card into the board. After you plugged in the micro SD card, attach power. The red and blue lights should turn on immediately. After one or two seconds, the green light should turn on, indicating that the board has found the bootloader and has successfully booted.